Archangel Michael is a celestial figure of great significance in biblical tradition. His name, Michael, derives from the Hebrew phrase Mikael, which carries a profound meaning, who is like God. This name reflects Michael's unique status and his exalted place in the celestial hierarchy. As the only angel explicitly designated as an archangel in the Bible, Archangel Michael holds a position of unparalleled authority and power. He is a figure of immense significance in the Old Testament, particularly in his role as the prince of God's chosen people, Israel. Michael serves as an angelic administrator, delivering judgment and protection to those under God's care. In this video, we will embark on an exploration of the scriptures that shed light on Archangel Michael's character and actions. We'll delve into the books of Daniel, Revelation, and Jude to dissect the passages that reveal his pivotal role as a triumphant general in the cosmic battle between good and evil. As we journey through these scriptures, we'll uncover the relevance of Archangel Michael in our modern world. Moreover, we'll extract valuable lessons from his unwavering dedication to righteousness and his unwavering commitment to God's divine plan. Whether you are well-versed in angelic lore or are just beginning to explore this captivating realm, the narrative of Archangel Michael promises to inspire, strengthen, and provide profound spiritual insight. Join my YouTube family by subscribing to this channel, Biblical Handbook, where we will delve into these scriptures. In the book of Daniel, we encounter a powerful force that hinders prayer, the Prince of Persia. Picture Daniel, a righteous prophet and a man of unwavering faith, seeking answers from the divine. He found himself in a period of intense prayer, fasting, and meditation, earnestly hoping to understand the future of his people. During this time, a celestial revelation descended upon him, launching him into an extraordinary spiritual journey. Daniel 10, 4, 6, NIV. On the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris, I looked up, and there before me was a man dressed in linen, with a belt of fine gold from Uphaz around his waist. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. In this mesmerizing vision, Daniel finds himself by the Tigris River, enveloped in thoughts and prayers, when a celestial figure appears before him. The angel's raiment shimmers with golden light, and his very presence radiates a celestial aura. His face gleams with an otherworldly brilliance, and his eyes pierce through the prophet's soul like flaming torches. As this majestic being speaks, his voice resonates with the harmonious chorus of the heavenly realms. Daniel is overwhelmed by the majesty and holiness of the celestial messenger. The angel proceeds to reveal the purpose of his visit. He explains that from the very moment Daniel began his prayers, his words resonated in the heavens, and the angel was dispatched with a divine message. However, his journey was not without its share of challenges. Daniel 10, 12, 13, NIV. Then he continued, Do not be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, because I was detained there with the king of Persia. The celestial messenger elucidates that he faced staunch opposition from a formidable adversary, the prince of the Persian kingdom. This spiritual conflict significantly delayed his arrival. Yet, in this moment of need, a great celestial figure steps forward, Archangel Michael. Imagine the awe-inspiring sight as Michael, one of the chief princes of heaven, arrives to aid his fellow angel in this celestial battle. The spiritual forces at play here are monumental, and Michael's intervention ensures the message reaches Daniel. Michael appeared to assist the subordinate angel, allowing him to return to his duty to Daniel unhindered. In any celestial conflict, Archangel Michael always prevails, fully eliminating the adversary. He is legendary for never failing, and there is nothing that can rise up against you that matches this strength. 
In many traditions, Archangel Michael is regarded as a protector of the weak and vulnerable. Today, as we navigate issues of social justice, inequality, and human rights, we can draw inspiration from his role as a guardian of those in need. His example encourages us to champion the cause of the marginalized and work toward a more just and equitable world. Psalm 82, 3, 4 reminds us, Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. These verses emphasize our duty to protect and advocate for the vulnerable. Michael offered guidance and support in times of trouble. In our contemporary world, characterized by uncertainty and rapid change, we can turn to his example to find clarity, resolve, and the strength to persevere. His guidance inspires us to navigate the complexities of our modern lives with resilience and determination. The defeat of the Prince of the Persian Kingdom by Archangel Michael stands as a testament to his incomparable and resounding affirmation of his unmatched strength, unyielding determination, and his role as a triumphant general in the celestial host. It is a victory that affirms his significance as a celestial warrior without equal. Archangel Michael's power over darkness is a symbol of hope, strength, and unwavering commitment to justice and righteousness. While his influence is rooted in the spiritual realm, the lessons derived from his character are applicable to the challenges and complexities of our contemporary world. They encourage us to be courageous, protective, and determined in the face of darkness, and to work collectively to create a brighter and more just future. This divine encounter serves as a testament to the cosmic battles and celestial order beyond the earthly realm. It portrays Michael not only as a warrior, but also as a guardian of God's purpose. As he stands victorious in this celestial struggle, Daniel gains insight into the future and assurance of God's continued presence. Continuing from the profound events in the book of Daniel, we now find ourselves immersed in the pages of the book of Revelation, where Archangel Michael and his angelic hosts, engaging in a fierce battle against the dragon, as described in the book of Revelation, is a powerful and symbolic narrative that unfolds within the pages of the Bible. This epic battle between good and evil, light and darkness, is a profound and timeless tale. Revelation 12, 7 to 12. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. 9. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Teto. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. 11. They triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. 12. Therefore rejoice, you heavens and you who dwell in them, but woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. The celestial realm becomes a battleground where the heavens themselves bear witness to an unprecedented cosmic war. Envision this otherworldly battlefield where Archangel Michael, the supreme commander of God's heavenly army, takes the lead. Michael, a towering figure of radiant light and celestial might, embodies the very essence of God's power and justice. He stands as a beacon of hope amidst the celestial turmoil, a paragon of righteousness and unwavering devotion. In stark contrast, the dragon, an ancient and malevolent serpent, epitomizes evil and darkness. The celestial expanse trembles as these colossal beings clash. The angelic hosts, arrayed in resplendent armor with wings aglow in divine light, rally behind Archangel Michael. Each angel serves as a testament to God's righteousness and unwavering devotion. 
Their swords shimmer with heavenly brilliance, and their purpose is unambiguous, to defend the heavens and expel the dragon. In a cataclysmic battle that transcends the boundaries of time and space, the forces of light and darkness collide. Flashes of lightning and deafening roars fill the celestial expanse. The dragon's malevolence and deceit are met with the unyielding resolve and purity of Michael and his angelic army. In the midst of this celestial maelstrom, the dragon and his dark angels are vanquished by the indomitable might of Michael and the heavenly host. The defeat of the dragon and his minions signifies the triumph of good over evil, the victory of God's righteousness over the forces of darkness. A resounding voice echoes through the heavens, heralding the arrival of salvation, power, and the eternal kingdom of God. The heavens themselves erupt in joy, yet a solemn warning reverberates upon the earth, for the dragon's fury knows no bounds as he is cast down from the heavens. This celestial battle, intricately woven into the book of Revelation, serves as a powerful metaphor for the enduring struggle between good and evil in both the spiritual and earthly realms. It stands as a vivid reminder that the forces of light and the unwavering strength of Archangel Michael ultimately prevail, offering hope and assurance in the face of the most formidable spiritual challenges. Angel Michael's battle against the dragon symbolizes the eternal struggle between righteousness and malevolence, assuring us that, in the end, goodness will always prevail. It underscores the importance of divine intervention in overcoming the darkest of adversaries, illustrating that even in the face of great adversity, God's intervention and the strength of the heavenly host can bring about victory. Michael's role as a leader in this epic battle exemplifies courage in the face of evil. This narrative encourages us to be courageous and unwavering in confronting the forces of darkness and injustice in our own lives. His leadership of the angelic host symbolizes the power of unity and collective action. In our world today, marked by global challenges like climate change, pandemics, and humanitarian crises, his example reminds us of the strength that can be harnessed when individuals and nations come together to confront shared threats and adversities. The involvement of Michael and his angels underscores the importance of unity and collective effort, teaching us that, by working together, we can overcome even the most formidable challenges and adversaries. This celestial battle serves as a reminder that, even when it appears that darkness is prevailing, resilience and perseverance are essential. It encourages us to continue the fight for what is right, even in the most trying times. This passage instills hope and faith in the hearts of believers, reminding us that, regardless of the trials we face, there is hope for a better future and a belief in God's ultimate plan for justice and redemption. The dragon's rebellion and subsequent defeat serve as a solemn warning about the consequences of opposing God's divine order, underscoring the idea that rebellion against the divine will ultimately lead to defeat. The account of Archangel Michael's dispute over the body of Moses, found in the book of Jude, is a brief yet profound narrative rich with symbolism and theological significance. In Jude 1.9, we encounter a celestial confrontation between Archangel Michael and the devil regarding the body of Moses. Moses, a revered figure in the Israelite history, had been a faithful servant of God, leading the people through the wilderness and receiving God's divine law. As his earthly journey neared its end, a mystery unfolded surrounding his lifeless body. The devil sought to claim it as the Israelites prepared to enter the promised land. Archangel Michael, a celestial figure of immense power and authority, intervened in this dispute. His response was not one of condemnation, but an acknowledgement of divine authority. He declared, The Lord rebuke you, signifying that ultimate judgment belongs to God alone. This narrative teaches us the vital lesson of humility and reverence in the presence of divine authority. Archangel Michael's refusal to accuse the devil emphasizes the importance of refraining from hasty judgments, especially in spiritual matters, and leaving judgment to God, who discerns the heart and truth. I encourage you to reflect on these lessons and incorporate them into your daily life. Just as Archangel Michael stood strong in his role, we can stand resolute 
in our pursuit of righteousness and service to others.